Hi, today we're going to talk about one of the most impressive AI-driven software that we have seen to date from Adobe called Project Shasta and more recently Adobe Podcast. The speech enhancement tool that we shall discuss today is part of a little-known Adobe project announced back in June 2022. Adobe made some really bold claims about its algorithms and in this video we're going to test and see just how well they perform. We discovered Product Shasta while we were covering the IBC trade show earlier this year and from our experience it made a tremendous difference to our audio recordings from the show. While IBC was not as noisy as some of the other expos that we have covered in the past, there are still plenty of background noise and audio to clean up. Project Shasta's speech enhancement tool cleaned up the audio so well that we actually had to put in some low-level expo background noise manually just to make the audio sound believable. Here is a segment from an interview with and without the speech enhancement tool. Well, you get a couple of options, so it comes with a 6, but you can also get a 10 or a 12 meter cable. Well, you get a couple of options, so it comes with a 6, but you can also get a 10 or a 12 meter cable. We did this for almost 30 videos from the show and out of several hours of recording in different environments with different audio setups and people with different English accents, we only found one or two minor issues with the results. Pretty impressive for a fully automatic tool that was basically still in beta. If our IBC test didn't convince you, let's try something more difficult. We took our A7 IV and used the built-in microphone to record a mock vlog on a busy street. Here are the results, with and without the speech enhancement tool. So this is a quick experiment that we did. We are shooting with the A7 IV with the internal mic, uh, with a 35mm lens. There is a busy road behind us with a lot of cars passing by. Let's see how this sounds with and without the Shasta. So this is a quick experiment that we did. We're shooting with the a7 IV with the internal mic uh, with a 35mm lens. There is a busy road behind us with a lot of cars passing by. Let's see how this sounds with and without the Shasta. Project Shasta is much more than just an audio restoration tool. Adobe created a fully automatic transcription service and all sorts of other tools to help content creators and especially podcast creators produce better sound. Just to put things in perspective, we're definitely not audio engineers, however, we've been using audio restoration tools such as Isotop for many years, both for LensVid and for our commercial productions, and we still think that Project Shasta and especially the speech enhancement tool is a big time saver. Isotop is a fantastic professional tool that can do way more things, but if the only thing that you want is to provide an audio file, press a single button and get something which is clean and sounds way above average, then Project Shasta's speech enhancement tool beats Isotop and basically any other piece of software that we have tested by miles. What we would like to see next is a full integration of Project Shasta into Premiere Pro with different configuration options to allow the user to have some level of control over the output. For example, it would be great if we could leave at least a little of the ambient noise in the recording. Even more interesting would be the option to choose with one click some room tone to add back into the audio so it would sound a little bit more live. At the end of the day, and even as it is right now, Project Shasta has become our go-to tool for anything to do with audio, and we can definitely recommend it for amateurs and professionals who want to shorten the turnaround time. Before we wrap things up, we wanted to let you know that we recently had a chance to talk to Mark Webster from Adobe and ask him some questions about the past, present and future of Project Shasta, and you can see a short segment right now and a full interview on LensB.com and our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. True that a lot of other users have asked for it to be in Premiere Audition, you know, other, basically software. Yeah, I mean, it, and video, right? I mean, I think that's the big thing that the um, that the, the standalone page really fleshed out is how many people wanted this for video. Because we've been focused on audio recording and conversations and people speaking, you know, and, and, and varying mic quality. But I think that that standalone page is just kind of what exploded the video use case.